Bitcoin is making a run to 30,000 and it all has to do with the bank bailout proposal that happened this weekend. That proposal I'm talking about, yeah, guess what? They're using your tax dollars to bail out banks across the globe and XRP whales are accumulating at a rate we haven't seen in a long time. Do they know something? Is there a court case resolution about to happen? Is this whales accumulating now before the verdict comes out? Let's start it off with the heat map. And if there was an ISO rally, no one told the ISOs about it. XLM sitting at 8.7 up 1% last 24. XRP could not break 40 cents yet again. Down 3.3% last 24 hours, 37.7. Bitcoin, though, is making that move. Where XRP was down that 3%, Bitcoin is up at 28.151, up 3.6% last 24 hours. ETH, 17.57, could not make that 1,800 mark. Project claiming to be AI power drains 1 million from users. I swear, every buzzword out there, there's some crypto scumbags that make a token that are out there to scam you. So what's this one all about? It's all about chat GPT. That's all we heard about on Twitter. And of course, people took this as an opportunity to screw over gullible investors. As artificial intelligence recently became a trending topic due to the capabilities displayed by chat GPT, a project claiming to be an AI-based decentralized app has taken almost 1 million from its users in a system suspected scam. Blockchain security platform Certic has recently confirmed that Harvest Keeper has stolen around 933,000 of users' assets at the time of writing. In addition, users have also lost around 200,000 from ice fishing transactions across Ethereum, BNB, Smart Chain, Polygon Networks, according to Certic. The security firm urged users to revoke the permissions they gave the project and warned people to stop interacting with its website. Here's the problem, everyone. Again, buzzwords and what's hot people are are getting scammed and screwed out of them. Every big thing that comes out, I guarantee you there's a scammer out there in the crypto world who's going to make a token to exploit people. Listen to this. And again, the red flag should be there, but I'm going to bring them up just so that you are better educated on what to look for. Harvest Keeper claimed to be an AI project that optimizes the trading process for maximum payout and promised a 4.8% return on user deposits. That's not too bad. On its website, the platform promised a 101% return on investments within 21 days and an 8% referral award. The project has 30,000 followers on Twitter and 32,000 followers on its Telegram channel. Promising things they can't deliver. Promising things that are out of the norm of everyone else out there. 101% return in 21 days. Pyramid scheme. So these people knew they were getting in a pyramid scheme and instead they get screwed by an AI theft. Oh, crazy stuff. Bitcoin to 30,000 Fed unveils a new tool to bail out non-US banks. Holy crap, everyone get pissed this Monday morning because all of these bad economic decisions made by our governments across the globe are starting to bite us in the ass. And guess what? Us, yeah, the taxpayer, me and you watching, we got to pay for this one. As news, BTC reported, the Fed added a whopping $300 billion to its portfolio last week, offsetting half of all the quantitative tightening in the last 12 months. So the last 12 months the Fed did of easing their balance sheet, well, they just blew half of that out of the water. So as we were wondering, hey, is inflation going to be going down? And the Fed sure as hell ain't helping us adding to their balance sheet. But oh wait, it gets even worse. That's right. Central banks around the globe are going to be adding even more to their balance sheets, driving up future inflation even further, which means we'll probably have more rate hikes, which means we're probably going to have more banks fail, which means we're going to have higher taxes because they need your money to bail out these banks. On Sunday, March 19th, the Federal Reserve and six of the world's largest central banks announced a coordinated action to facilitate a dollar-denominated banking transactions to calm financial financial markets. The Fed, European Central Bank, Central Banks of Japan, UK, Switzerland, Canada will expand their swap operations, not swapping lives, everyone, but money, with central banks used to exchange foreign currency with each other starting today. That's right. That's how fresh this news breaks. And make sure you hit the subscribe button because we got Jerome Powell and the Fed coming out. Rate hike announcement on Wednesday with summary of economic projections. A bunch of people are going to be watching me because we want to see, is he going to come out with the 25? 
Is he going to pause or is he going to go big dong like European Central Banks and drop a 50? The central banks reportedly agreed to increase the frequency of seven day dollar currency swaps from weekly to daily. These swaps have been in place for several years previously with weekly maturities. But now if you move it to daily, you can get your money out faster. How it works, the Fed lends dollars to foreign central banks at the end of the term. The Fed swaps the currencies back to the original exchange rate and collects its interest, right? And where, oh, where is all this money going to come from? The taxpayer. And as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. Here's the press release from the Fed. They work on Sundays. I'm sharing it with you now. Bank of Canada, England, Japan, European Central Bank, Federal Reserve, and Swiss National Bank today are announcing coordinated action to enhance the provision of liquidity via the standing U.S. dollar liquidity swap. That's right, everyone. The Fed, who was tightening up their budget, the Fed, who was working on inflation and still will be, guess what? They're opening up their budget yet again. $300 billion to bail out the Silvergate and all the other SI banks out there. And now they're adding even more as the tax taxpayer is bailing out banks across the globe. Bitcoin making the move and don't worry, we're going to get into XRP whale action. Wait until you see what the percentage is of whale accumulation over the last couple months. Freakishly high percentage of whales accumulated. All right, here's Bitcoin action. Look at the move. Look at the move. Bitcoin is on its way to try that 30,000 mark. We could see Bitcoin trying to bust through 30 with some very favorable action from the Fed on Wednesday. Now, this move from the 9th has seen Bitcoin go from 20,000, all right? Right at that 9.6, that was the lowest on this candle stick. So let's just say 20 for easy math. Up to now 28. 40% in the last 10 plus days. Bitcoin is stealing show. For those of you out there that are like, yo, Klaus, ISO pump. Yeah, where is it, everyone? I told you guys there wasn't going to be an ISO pump. ISO is about the messaging of moving money, not how you move money. Now, let's compare Bitcoin, though, to the ISO ones out there. And here's what I wanted to show you. Buy the rumor, sell the news. We already knew about ISO. The rumor was done a long time ago. The news that it dropped today is old. No one cares about it. So look at the map. Two ISO ones right here, XLM in light blue, XRP in purple. Don't worry, I got whale info coming up. But Bitcoin making the move since, all right, December 22nd. I picked Christmas just for shits and grins, everyone. Bitcoin is up 66%. Look at this last move. Since that time, XLM up 16%, XRP up 10 No pump for the ISOs. But now we get onto XRP whales and a lot of whales out there thinking, hey, Judge Torres is going to make the decision soon. We're going to get in now. We're going to ride that quick oomph, right? That price pop. And then we're going to sell after. I'm telling you, look out for that kind of action. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Over 50 whales have amassed 420 million XRP in the last month. Nice. Shout out to all my 420 peeps out there. Investors are trooping into XRP, Ripple's native token, as up to 50 whale addresses holding between 10 and 100 million XRP have been added to the Ripple network in the past month. Prominent crypto analyst Ali recently called public attention to the bullish pattern, citing data from Sandiment, a market intelligent resource. Sandiment charts reveal that the number of whales addresses holding 10 to million has seen a massive uptick between February 21st and 23rd. Listen to these stats, all right? On February 16th, there were only 116 whales. Right now, at the time of this article, 171. 55 whales in the last three weeks have accumulated 420 million XRP, all within the range of holding 10 and 100 million XRP. That's whales placing the bets right now on Judge Torres making the decision soon. Whales are putting the money down thinking, hey, if there is some action, if we do see a pop with the announcement of the verdict, we're going to buy now low before the rumor, and then we're going to sell on the news. Mark my words, if we get some action here coming up soon, you'll see a pop, and then you'll see a drop. Why? 
people are going to be taking profits. The whales out here don't need to go to the moon, everyone, but 100 million XRP that goes up 10, 20, or 30% is juicy enough for those whales to cash out. So I know a lot of you out there hoping for the 10X, 100X, 1000X, and so forth. It's going to be hard because these whales that are amassing are not going to hold to that 10 or 100X. They're going to collect their 15, 20, 30%, sell it, move on to the next one that they can manipulate. And some of these stories I break earlier on Twitter like this one right here. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, that will be linked in the description below. So no ISO pump. In fact, just the opposite. Bitcoin is stealing the thunder. As people see Bitcoin now, a safer asset to put their money in rather than banks. Speaking of banks, let's bail them all out as we have horrible global financial policy. We're all learning right now. And for those of you that don't believe this, it should be hitting you in the face. We're all learning that our government's bad decisions, all of our governments during the Rony Rona time are having ripple effects that are causing more damage than we could ever prepared for. The financial damage that has been done by Rony Rona, shutdowns, all this printing money is making things a mess, causing the balance in bonds just to be messed up so banks have nowhere to put their money safe, which means now the Fed has to start doing swaps early. They also have to increase their budget, their balance books, right? Oh my God. Inflation is going to be here for a while. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because Jerome Powell on Wednesday is coming out with the rate hike decision. XRP whales are accumulating at a crazy pace. 55 whales over the last three weeks have bought between 10 and 100 million XRP, suggesting that maybe some of them know that there is a decision coming from Judge Torres soon. Now, my life outside of crypto, what I do outside of this crazy world, that's this channel right here, dieting training, adventure, all that cool stuff. Yep, entertainment for you. You want crypto action this morning while my dog's scratching herself with her collar? Yep, that's this video right here. Hey, sweetie, how are you doing? Now, until more news breaks, I'm gonna hang out with my cute little doggy here. You cool cats have a great rest of your day.